Now it's been five months since I released the 4141 Mastery, the ultimate lower league tactic, and now we've had the winter update, I want to revisit this to see if it is still as strong, if any tweaks can be made to make it better as well. So stick around and we'll see if the 4141 Mastery is still worth your time downloading for lower leagues. Now for something a little bit different, we're going to go from National League to League 2, League 1, Championship and the Premier Division as well to see if it works in the top 5 divisions in England. As always, we're going to be going on holiday for the whole season. No badges, no past experience and the transfer window is going to be closed as well. The 5 teams, let's get into the first one. But first of all, a little recap on what the tactic looks like. So a quick overview of the tactic is the 4141 Mastery. Custom Solo is a tactical style. Now with the tactical styles, it doesn't really matter what it is. It thinks it's just the style of the name. Because obviously if you're changing the possession, transition and out of possession, it's not going to stick to what you originally selected. Mentality is a positive. In possession, fairly wide attacking width, pass into space. Focus on the left and the right and play at the defence. Shorter passing with a higher tempo. Low crosses and run at the defence as well. In the transition, counter press and counter with roll it out distribution style from the goalkeeper. High line of engagement and a higher defensive line also prevent short goalkeeper distribution and trigger press much more often. With the roles, sweeper keeper on defend with tackle harder as an added instruction, a complete wing back on attack with cross less often, shoot less often and tackle harder as additional instructions there. Same for the left hand side. Two ball playing defenders on defend with dribble more, close down less and tackle harder selected for both of these. An anchor as our defensive midfielder, no additional instructions added here. Inside forward on the left, sit narrower and tackle harder has been added. Same for the right hand side as well. An advanced midfielder on support, no additional instructions. Attacking midfielder on attack, just get further forward has been selected. And then a poacher on attack with an additional tackle harder. Now our first test is going to be with Ebbs Fleet, purely due to a comment that I had on the last video to see if it is still working. The commenter has been struggling, not getting quite a, a good result with this. So we're going to go on holiday for the season now and let's see how we get on. And fantastically, we finished in second place with Ebbs Fleet. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get promoted, not even through the playoffs as well. I think the National League is such a tough division to get out of, especially with only one automatic promotion spot. But we got 26 wins, 9 draws, 11 losses and a plus goal difference of 36 with 87 points across the season. Top goal scorer Rakesh Bingham with 28 goals, top goal scorer in the league as well looking at this. He was also joint second with player of the match performances as well. Yellow cards, Luke O'Neill and Hayden White in the top three there. So again as we found out with this tactic it's quite attacking on on the player as well as on the goal so most goals for we scored 112 goals in the national league 13 of these coming from corners second most amount of shots we weren't involved with the few shots against pass completion but we were sixth for most possession most tackles won not involved there but seventh for dribbles made not in the clean sheets or the fewest conceded either fa cup knocked out in the third round to liverpool and in the fifth round of the fa trophy to filed on the schedule i mean i can see a big win there straight away but let's go through it a bit of a bad start if we are being honest here i think there's six losses six of our 11 losses came in the first kind of couple of months of the season but we did pick up we got a 6-1 victory 5-2 4-2 again this tactic is going to guarantee you scoring goals and conceding them as well if depending on the team that you have i mean we beat filed 6-5 5-0 against Soddy Moors, 4-1 against Rochdale, but we did lose 4-0 to Dorking on the last game of the season. If we look at the squads, I mean Bingham got 34 goals and 4 assists, I'm assuming he was our poacher. Toby Edser with 12 and 9, Jordan Ibe with 12 and 12, Craig Tanner with 11 and 10, and Dominic Polian with, is that 11 and 6? 11 and 6. Now the next test is going to be with Forest Green Rovers in League 2, let's see how we get on. Now with Forest Green Rovers, we've finished fifth in the division here in League 2. 21 wins, 16 draws and only 9 losses with this one. A plus goal difference of 31 with 79 points on the board. We're not involved this time with the goal scorers, but we have got Kyle McAllister, second for the average rating with 7.24. 
who also topped the charts for assists with 13 across the season. For Kanti Dabo, got 13 yellow cards as well, so 13, unlucky for some. But a good, good performance here I did see as well going through. We were actually knocked out in the semi-final of the playoffs to Wrexham, 6-4 on aggregate, which is a bit of a bit of a gut punch, but I mean, fifth place, can't complain at all. We scored the most goals in the league with 117, eight of these coming from corners, the most shots as well, which you'd expect if you score the most goals. Pass completion, we're not there, but the possession, we are here as well, 56% average, not there for most tackles, but we are third for dribbles made, not there again for clean sheets or for the fewest conceded. FA Cup again, third round knocked out, this time to Charlton, second round of the Carabao Cup to Tottenham, and Bristol Street Mofas Trophy, Motors Trophy, uh, were knocked out in the southern section third round by Stevenage, and Notts County actually got promoted ahead of Wrexham in this one here. Again, we're just going to focus on the league just to see how we perform, and the reason why I focus on the league is because it's the most you can get kind of as consistent as you can. Now, not a bad start. We lost one of our first eight games. 2-1 win to Swindon, 4-2 to Newport, and a 5-4 against Doncaster. Losses come into Wimbledon and Notts County, Colchester and Barrow to start. But some good performances here. A 7-3 against Harrogate. Now, if you remember in my first video, Harrogate, we got them promoted straight away with this tactic. Gillingham, we beat them 4-3. Crawley, 5-2. And look at that ending. I mean, I think that's kind of where we've fallen. Fallen short just at the end. But we beat Sox, Stockport 6-1. And Warsaw got a 5-0 battering as well. In the squad, how have we performed? I mean, Christian Deutsch with 25 goals and 1 assist. Emmanuel Osadebi, 18 goals, 7 assists. Carl McAllister, as we saw, 16 assists. But 16 goals as well. Jordan Garrick, 14-9. and And Matty Stevens, 12-2. With Jacob Maddox as 12-8. Now, there's a lot of goals have been scored in this division. So we've kind of shown with National League and with League Two, again, no transfers have been made. If you add your own players to this, you should get better results as well. Or if you play it as well in game, you should enjoy the attacking football that is on display. But now let's go into League Two and let's see how we get on. Now in League One, we're going to be taking over Stevenage. Let's see if we can get another top six finish. We'll have to find out. Now here we go, we've won League One with Stevenage, I think they were predicted to finish 24th in this one, so 31 wins, 7 draws, 8 losses, I mean 100 points on the board and a plus goal difference of 56 to Feather Bolton, I mean they, they kind of pushed us quite, quite far as well, so fair play to them. Jamie Reid, top goal scorer with 27 goals in the league, Elliot List, second for average rating, 7.24 and... Yeah, two players again in the top three for the yellow cards. Do we expect anything else? I don't think we do. Looking at the stats, we scored 125 goals in the division. Third most shots though, apparently. So a bit more clinical than we were in the lower leagues. We're not involved with the shoeest shots against. Pass completion, but we are again there with most possession. 55% average across the season. Most dribbles made. We are fifth with Stevenage. And we're not there for fewest conceded or for the clean sheets. FA Cup again, third round we have been knocked out. Second round of the Carabao Cup to Chelsea and Bristol Street Mofas Trophy. I'll say properly, maybe on the next one. Uh, we're knocked out in the third round to Peterborough United. So, you know, it was a, a big team that has kind of knocked us out there. Looking at the league, how did we perform in League One with this? Wow. Started off with a 7-0 battering of Northampton Town, a 4-1 against Shrewsbury and a 3-1 against Cambridge. We lost 4-3 to Reading, but again, look at these runs of wins that we are going on. We lost to Bolton and to Blackpool, so some of the bigger teams in the division, but a 4-2 to Bristol Rovers, a 2-0 against Lincoln, 5-2 against Northampton again, 5-2 against Portsmouth, 6-2 against Blackpool. I mean, goals have been scored. Yeah, this is why I love this tactic. It's so much fun to play. And I am playing it with my Born to Win series as well, where I'm trying to take Carry Athletic to the Premier League. If you haven't already, give it a watch. It's a lot of fun. Looking at the results with the players, 32 goals and 8 for Jamie Reid. Elliot List, 21 and 16. Jordan Roberts, 17 and 6. Jake Forster Kasky, 12 and 10. With Nick Freeman picking up 11 and 6. Next, we're going to go to Rotherham in the Championship. Let's see how we get on. 
Now with Rotherham, we're finishing sixth place. Again, this is consistent top six finishes that we have done in the National League, League Two, League One, and now the Championship. 23 wins, eight draws, and 15 losses. A plus goal difference of 20 with 77 points on the board as well. Now this is a team that is predicted to finish pretty much rock bottom, although look who got relegated. West Brom and my beloved Birmingham City. Very, very interested indeed. But it looks like here that we actually went into the playoffs. Who did we face? We got knocked out in the semi-final to Leeds, 3-1 in aggregate. I mean, it, it's a good good showing for Rotherham here. We're not involved with the player stats or the average ratings, but Arvin Apaya topped the assist charts with 15. And again, you guessed it, two of our players are in there with the bookings as well. So, most goals for, we scored 105 goals in the championship with Rotherham. I mean, that is just insane, insane achievement. Most shots for, we were third with 613. Again, few shots against, I'm not expecting this, nor the pass completion. Possession, the first time we're not in there, but obviously, is that an indication of Rotherham's team? Most tackles won, we're in with this one, sixth with 1,065 won across the season. We're not there for dribbles made, clean sheets, or for the fewest conceded either. In the competitions, made it one step further, fourth round of the FA Cup to Chelsea, and also the fourth round of the Carabao Cup to Newcastle. Looking at the results and how we get on. I mean, you can see a little bit of runs of red there, but we lost 4-1 to Stoke, but then we brought it back with a 3-1 victory against Blackburn, beat Huddersfield 3-0, 4-2 against Preston, 3-1 against Ipswich and Coventry, a 6-3 against QPR as well. I mean, some big wins in here. Birmingham 4-1, Swansea 4-1, 5-3 against Hull, 4-2 against QPR, 5-0 against Millwall. We lost 5-4 to Bristol, but we beat Birmingham 2-0 on there. And then obviously we uh, we drew to Leeds and lost to Leeds in in the semi-finals. Looking at how we performed as a team, Jordan Newgill, 23 goals and five assists across the season. Cafu, not that one, 16 goals and six to six with Andre Green, 13 and 13. Not unlucky for him. Sam Klukas, 12 and three. Sam Numbe, 11 and five with Arvin Apaya. 10 with 18 assists and Oliver Rathbone, Rathbone with 10 and 6 as well. That's fantastic. Lastly, I didn't do this last time. We're going to go to the Premier League. We've got Burnley to test with. Can we stay up? That's all that matters. Another top 6 finish? We'll have to find out. Now, it wasn't a top 6 finish, but we finished 13th, which is not too bad for Burnley. I mean, we were 18th media prediction and again this is for lower leagues but i just wanted to see how it would look like with a relegation threatened team we're not involved with the goals average rating assists prayer the matches or clean sheets but true to our form charlie taylor is joint second with yellow cards in the division as well with the stats we scored at 67 goals across the league we're not there for most shots for or the fewest against pass completion or possession tackles dribbles Clean sheets and fewest conceded. We're not involved with any of these here. In the FA Cup, another round ahead. We went out in the fifth round to Chelsea in the FA Cup. We actually made it into the semi-final of the Carabao Cup against Newcastle, who went on to win it as well. Looking at how we performed in the Premier League with this tactic, I mean, there's a lot of losses here, but we are Burnley, so let's give us that. We lost to Villa, but then we beat Brighton 3-0, lost 5-1 to Chelsea, 4-2 to Liverpool, 4-1 to Tottenham, 1-0 to Man City, unusual you only lost 1-0, but then we beat Wolves and Fulham, Arsenal 4-2, I just saw the, the sea of red there, I mean, yeah, it's very attacking, it's pretty much Blackpool, Ian Holloway's Blackpool in the Premier League, this is what this tactic is like in the Premier Division, I mean we lost 8-4 to Liverpool, how do you score 4 goals away from home and you lose 8-4, I mean, yeah, it's fun. Use it for lower leagues. Tweak it for the uh, for the Prem. We did beat Brighton 6-3. So there is that. And lastly, looking at the squad. Aaron Ramsey was our top goal scorer with 11 goals and 7 assists. Mike Trezor, 11 and 6. And Zaki Amdouni with 10 and 6 as well. Now there we go. There's revisiting the 4-1-4-1 mastery after the winter update. And you know what? I still love it. I think it's fantastic. Yes, maybe the match engine has changed some of the results that we have, but you know, top six finish with Rotherham, 
we've won the league with Stevenage. Forest Green Rovers, I think we got knocked out in the playoffs as well. And also Ebbs Fleet, we finished second, lost in the playoffs. So yeah, give this a go. Let me know down below if you do like the video. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm close to 500. I can almost taste it. I'll see you on another episode of Testing Your Tactics. FM versus Showdown or Cabri Athletics Born to Win. Have a good weekend. Have a good day whenever you watch this and I'll see you next time.